Hi, my name is Shannon Nicole Kringen, and I call myself Goddess Kring. Long story on that. I wanted to do a video today on prison and jail, a little bit about health care, but mostly prison and jail for right now. I am an American citizen. I was born in the United States, the West Coast of the United States. Been here all my life. I'm 47 years old. I'm a big fan of, of presidential candidate um, Bernie Sanders, who is calls himself a, a democratic socialist. And it's about time that we had somebody more of a, a socialized person running. I will say that I recently watched a 60 Minutes, an episode um, in the USA. There's a show called 60 Minutes. And they did a, a show about prison in Germany and how different the prisons are in Germany than they are in the United States. And I don't know if all prisons in Germany are this good as what was featured on the 60 Minutes, but check it out if you just Google 60 Minutes um, prison, Germany, prison in Germany, you'll probably find it. The episode just aired recently. And I, in my mind for years, I had an idea of what I think prison should be more like. Um, and I've been made fun of for saying the ideas, but when I saw that show on 60 Minutes, I was like, oh my God, the German system works the way that in my mind I thought might work. Now, what they emphasize in German prisons is rehabilitation and not punishment. I personally don't believe that if, if somebody commits a crime, whether it's murder or theft, if it's something violent, or, or, you know, something horrible. In the United States, we have the biggest prison system in the world. And we have more people incarcerated, apparently, than any other country in terms of the percentage of our population. We also have very, very strict laws. And to me, it seems that we have very, very harsh sentences for people. And we have a very high redis, redis, oh, rate. What's the word? Recivis. Oh, God. I don't know. The, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce the word. It's like the re, uh, recommit the crime rate is very high. And so that sort of indicates that when people go to prison or jail in the United States, they come out and they recommit crimes, either the same crimes or worse crimes or different crimes. Who knows what? But in Germany, the the re recivicism recivis sorry I can't say it tell me how to say it Reciv recivicism <laughs> the recommit the crime rate is very low it's about fifty percent of what it is here in the United States and what they do in German prisons even with people who have murdered other people or at least murdered a person is instead of punishing them and throwing them in a cell and treating them really badly and like with lots of anger with guards that have guns and weapons and like beat them up and yell at them and feed them really bad food and make them live in really harsh, horrible conditions, which is generally, I think, how it works here in the United States. And we spend a lot of money on prison. In Germany, apparently, they spend a lot less money on prison in general. They have smaller prisons. That's part of it. But they actually feed the prisoners healthy food in German prisons. And they actually, a lot of them are allowed to have plants in their rooms. I've saw some of the rooms, they're beautiful rooms. But what they emphasize in the German prisons, instead of punishing and humiliating people and shaming them for being bad criminal type people, is they treat them with dignity and respect and treat them, give them the benefit of the doubt that even though they did this, whatever horrible crime they did, that they are still a human being and that they have some good qualities that hopefully can be brought out. And so in the German prisons, they seem to have, and also the prison guards don't have weapons and they are trained apparently for a couple of years, kind of almost like a psychologist, almost like a psychotherapist would be trained. They are trained to be experts in calming people down and trying to encourage people to not be violent. And so what they do when a prisoner is acting out is they try to calm them down and it, gen and it seems to work apparently. They don't have hardly any violence in the German prisons. And I think each person is locked in their own private room so they can't be fighting with each other. Um, but what they what they seem to be doing, in my opinion, and this works in other ways as well, 
people tend to, um, okay, some people on this planet are probably sociopaths. And in other words, they can harm other people or plants or animals and not have any empathy or not care. Those people should probably be taken away from society if they're continuously being violent, but they shouldn't be abused because of that. They might be mentally ill, they might be sociopathic, who knows, but they should be put somewhere like a rehabilitation style prison where they are treated with dignity and respect and where therapeutic type people, prison guards could be more therapeutic like they are in Germany and try to train these people to be better people. And apparently in Germany, this is working pretty well. They interviewed some inmates who even one who had done murder and he wants to be done with this part of his life. And he's been serving, I think for a few years, he earned the right to see his family on weekends and even have a job that's away from the prison. And then he has to spend the night in the prison every night. And there are strict rules about certain things that he can do or not do. But basically, your freedom is taken away, but you are not abused and treated like a piece of crap. You are treated like a human being that has potential to be a good person. And I feel like when you expect somebody to be, a, a, if you label somebody a bad person, male or female, if you label them, you're a bad person, you're a criminal, we're going to put you in prison. It's like you're, it's like you're expecting there, there's a bad person. You label somebody bad person, criminal, bad person. It's, it's like you're reinforcing that. And plus, if you abuse them and treat them badly, they're going to be, how could you not be angry? If you're abused and treated badly in a prison system and you're eating food that's hideous, why would you be healthy? Why would you, why would you learn to be a better person? So the philosophy in Germany is that if you treat somebody with dignity and respect and you treat them, what I was going to say was people are like mirrors. And so if you're really mean to somebody, they're probably going to be mean back. Now, I'm not saying, I don't know why people have committed these crimes. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about once they've committed the crime and then it, they're sentenced to time in prison. Somebody gets locked in prison. Now, any psychologist would know that if you take somebody that did something bad and you lock them up in prison and then you abuse them and treat them badly and yell at them, is that going to help them become better people when they get out? No. That's only going to reinforce their anger, their fear, their tendency to be abusive, their, pardon my phone, their tendency to do negative, self-destructive or destructive destructive to other people. Basically, that's not going to motivate or help somebody learn to be a better person. See, my opinion is that the world would be better off if prisons were not for abusing and punishing bad people. If prison was for encouraging people to be better people, to be the change that you want to see. So in other words, if somebody is uh, stealing or even murdering people, if somebody, okay, again, if somebody is a, to is a totally like, like psychopathic what do you call it, pathological liar who is a serial killer and does lots of really weird violent things and they don't seem to think that that's wrong. Okay, they should probably be taken away from society and maybe life in prison for those kinds of people. But again, I don't think they should be abused and treated horribly. It doesn't, in other words, it doesn't make me personally feel any better if people who do bad things are put into prison and then abused and treated badly, that doesn't make up for the bad thing that they did. It only makes the world more violent, more abusive, more frightening, more negative. And so to me, take the people that are sociopathic and maybe they need to be locked up forever. Perhaps that's true, but they could still be treated with dignity and respect. And they could still, you could still try to see if there's anything productive that they want to do while they're in prison and offer them the option to do something productive in prison, like learn something, get an education, make artwork, uh, make, you know, mass produce things for companies, do something if they want to do some kind of productive work encourage them to do that so they could be useful to society in some way and maybe they'll actually feel better about themselves or at least be spending their life doing something useful um, but for the people who acknowledge the crime that they committed and they don't want to do crime like that again they don't want to steal or murder people or do violent things or whatever it is that they did if they actually are willing to acknowledge what they did and work on what they would rather do instead with their lives, which would be better and helpful to society, 
then I think that they should be encouraged to do so. And so it seems like in the German prisons, from what I witnessed, these prisoners are not very stressed out. Their freedom is taken away. They have to stay in this in their cell every day, 24, you know, uh, seven days a week. They have to live at the prison, although they get to go outside during the day and get fresh air. But it's like their freedom is taken away, so they so society is protected from these people being out there committing crimes. But while they're there, why not encourage them to be good people? And so if you treat somebody with kindness and respect, they're likely to respond back with positiveness. So just like if you put like little kindergartner, little kids, if you if you treat kids badly, you know, parents who abuse kids, usually these kids grow up and abuse other people. I'm not saying that all people that are abusive were abused by their parents, but generally speaking, humans are mirrors to each other. So if you treat somebody with anger and violence and abusiveness, then they're going to probably want to retaliate back and do more of the same. So it's like if you fight, if you fight against crime and you fight against what you don't like, it doesn't help solve the problem of that. And so the German prisons, the whole rehabilitation means that they are actually trying to teach these prisoners to be better people and put them to work doing productive things. They do artwork, they cook, they clean, you know, they do positive things and they are forced to, to live at the prison and they get their own private room and there's plants, there's artwork. I mean, it's, it's actually kind of nice. And I don't think, and plus they're kept away from society. So to me, that's enough for me. If somebody commits a crime, you can lock them in a prison or a jail, but that doesn't mean they should be abused and treated badly. In other words, I don't think it's going to help society to, to humiliate and abuse and treat prisoners badly. It doesn't do any good. So I don't understand the American prison system. It seems very cruel, very harsh. Plus, there's a lot of people in American prisons that shouldn't even be there. Like they didn't, they were falsely accused. Or maybe what they did was pretty minor. I mean, to me, prison should be for people who are very violent, who actually murder people, who actually harm animals in a weird way, or who actually, you know, who, who sexually molest people, who, you know, who do very, very violent type things that are scary. Um, not just people who yell at a police officer or people who jaywalk or people who smoke marijuana or I'm just, I don't want to talk about laws and legal stuff, but I'm just saying that I, what I love about the German prison system that I've learned is the emphasis on rehabilitation instead of punishment. I don't think that punishing somebody makes them, you know, if someone is a criminal, you wonder why are they doing that? Are they doing that because they're rebelling against society? Are they uh, living in a very poverty stricken area and they're pissed off and they think the only way they can get financial, more financial abundance is to steal, lie, cheat, and steal. So you wonder why did this person commit this crime? Are they, did they just do it for the money? Are they, are they sociopathic? Are they crazy? So, you know, work on figuring out is this person potentially somebody who could go back into society after they're locked up for a while and kept away from? So to me, prison is to keep people away from endangering society. And then while you're there, don't just perpetuate the problem by treating them badly, treating them like they're bad people, which really they'll probably live up to that. If you think somebody's a bad person and you treat them that way and you abuse them and put them down and make them live in a bad situation, it's not really going to help them become better people. So I guess I'm not into retaliation and punishment. I'm more into rehabilitation, like forced rehabilitation to see if, okay, you're in prison now and now you have to like cook and clean and do artwork or read or do something productive and then see if that works. So basically what they do is they act as if these people in the German prisons, they act as if these people could be better people. They could be good people. These people did these crimes. Now we're going to lock them up, take them away from society. And we're going to see if we treat them well and we give them productive things to do and encourage them to be nonviolent. And if they get angry, calm them down in a psychological way, not with force and violent, not with violence and beating them up or weapons or anything, no weapons allowed, 
but with reasoning with people and trying to figure out why are they upset, calm them down in a more psychological way. It is possible. There's meditation. I know that they have done meditation in some prisons, even in the United States. And actually they said there was less violence in the prisons where, where prisoners were meditating because they were going within themselves and they felt more safe within themselves and like they didn't need to fight with their fellow inmates. So there's something to be said for meditation. There's something to be said for encouraging um, inmates to do positive, productive things and then see if it works. So it's almost like they're pretending. They're like role-playing being a good person. Like, let's pretend like we're good people, not like we're these criminals locked up. Let's pretend like we're good. I mean, everybody, I think, does have goodness in them, though. That's not pretend. But it's like in prison, they're acting as if these people have the potential to to once they go out back into regular society that they could actually do positive things that contribute to society and not harm people or plants or animals or property and apparently it works and so i feel like um prisons should be non-profit prisons should be for rehabilitation and not for punishing people i'm also against the death penalty and i'm pro-choice and i'm just i'm for health care being for all and being non-profit this video has gone on for 16 minutes, so I think I'll wrap it up. But that's just my ramble about what I think about prison. And again, rehabilitation, I think, is way smarter, way more intelligent than the idea of punishing people. Because to me, punishment enough is taking them away from society, taking the freedom away. That's restricting them in a certain way. And then you encourage them and act as if it's possible for them to learn to be better people and learn to cooperate with other people and do positive things and look within themselves and try to figure out what they want to do with their lives that's positive and productive and then have them practice that. It's basically you're practicing that in prison or jail. And then when you're re-released back into regular society, let's see if you can keep that positive, productive thing up or not you see it's it's a worthy experiment and apparently in Germany there's a lot less people again when they get out there there it's like 50 percent less of a chance that they're gonna recommit the crimes than there is here in the United States where prisons seem to be kind of cruel and abusive and there seems to be a lot of a lot of violence in prisons in the United States and in Germany there's not a lot of violence in prison so it's very very different and to me it makes more sense the way the Germans are doing the prison thing and I guess after World War II the whole Nazi Germany thing was so disturbing and you know humanity at its worst um, with you know the Holocaust and Nazis and all the violence of that and the hor horribleness of that and that's when the, I guess German society decided you know what we want to treat human life with dignity and respect uh, after the Holocaust that's what they decided and so that's pretty intense and so it's kind of like they decided let's not be abusive to people even people who are thought of as bad criminals let's take them away from society lock them up but treat them with respect and and help them practice being a good cooperative person that gets along with other people and is get, get you know and has a good relationship with themselves because usually if somebody is happy with themselves they're probably not going to go out there and hurt other people or steal or do violent things to me if somebody's doing unless they're again unless they're a sociopath and they're kind of crazy then maybe you need to take them away from society but you don't have to abuse somebody just because they are crazy. It just makes it worse. I know that there's a lot of mentally ill people that are in prison. I don't think they belong in prison. They belong in a psychiatric facility. They belong, you know, but maybe our prisons themselves could be more like psych psychiatric facility, you know, more like where there's actually therapeutic people there that are trained to help these people see what the potential is for these people to be productive and enjoy their lives and do something good for society. That's how I see it. So tell me how you feel if you want. So my name is Shannon Kringen. I call myself Goddess Kring. There it is. I'm an artist, a model, and a curious human being on this planet. I like to question everything. Thank you for listening.